Okay, let's uh, take a look at an application where we'll have a person uh, input in their their grade on a test, and it'll tell them whether they got an A, B, C, D, or F. Uh, this is going to demonstrate the usage of a uh, if-else uh, structure. Uh, specifically, we'll have multiple uh, items to check uh, to see if they got an A, B, C, so forth. So I'll create a new project. Click it. That time I clicked it. Okay. Make sure iOS is on uh, chose here. Choose app and click next. I'm not going to use any special uh, GUI features of this. Uh, again, I'm just demonstrating the, the coding behind an if else structure. And this is grade determination. And um, you put in our organization identifier there. Uh, and that'll give you a unique bundle identifier, and then you put make sure these are set up like you see here, and then click Next. Click Create, that'll create the folder, and the project. Okay. Now, I'll leave the vertical stack there, but I'll get rid of these two. And I'm going to, uh, instead of typing it in this example, I'm going to go to the plus up here. Um, we're going to need to get the, um, the test score, and then we'll return the grade. So um, I'm going to choose a horizontal stack, so I'll type H stack. And drag and drop that here. Um, in the content, I'll delete what's there. Uh, we're going to have a text, so I'll click the plus here. Drag text over. Do enter after that, and I want a text field now. I right, can drop that there. And uh, then I want my button, so I'll come down here. I don't need to do a horizontal stack here because we only got one element, one graphical element. Type, start typing button, and drag and drop that after the horizontal stack. And I'll do an inner, and I want another horizontal stack. This is where we're going to put our, our grade. So I'll drag and drop that here. And then I'll get rid of the content here. And we're going to put in, um, think about this for a minute. Text again. Press enter. Do a plus. Text field. Drag that there. Now let's start changing some of these items. I want this to be the test score. Test score. Uh, placeholder here, input, uh, test score. I need to uh, declare some variables to use. I'm going to come up here after the struct and line, but before the, the var. The var is actually what we're doing here with the var. Uh, so it's just a different way of de uh, declaring um, working with the body. So at state, private, Bar, and what do I want to call this? Uh, this is the test score. Okay, so test score string colon string equals to blank. There we go. And at state private var. What's this next one? This is the grade. Okay, so grade string. This is called camel case. It's where you got uh, multiple words and your first uh, word it has the first letter lowercase and then the other words have the first letters uppercase. It's very common in programming. Uh, I'm old, <laughs> so I have to get used to it. You won't see me always do it. Um, but way back, um, way back when, 
uh, when when I first started programming, uh, we used a lot of underscores. Actually, a lie. When I programmed COBOL, everything was uppercase. Okay, so I'll come down here, quit uh, reminiscing about the old, old days. I'll put a dollar sign. What was this called? Test score string. I can do a tab, do a code completion. Uh, this down here. Uh, this will be, what will this be? Great. I'm going to click here. And um, uh, the answer. I'll just say answer. You don't have to have anything there. You could have a blank. Maybe that'd be even make more sense. Like that. And then this one, I'll put a dollar sign. What was this? This is grade string. I want my button to say um, determine grade. The action, I'm going to run calculate. Um, or calc yeah, calculate letter grade. Letter grade. There we go. Uh, can I find Cal? Okay, yeah, I know you can't. And let's see. I will come down here. Before this, this brace, this if you click these brace, these braces, you see this one lines up with the struct, and we want our 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 function, our method to be within the um, struct. So you have to put it here. You can't put it down below the other curly brace. So important distinction. And what I call it? I called it calculate letter grade. Now we're going to see if something was input in that blank. So we'll say if let, and this uh, sets a constant. Um, let me see, what am I bringing in? I'm bringing in the test score. So test score, and I won't put the STR on there because that's what we're using to write out to our text fields. Uh, if let test score equals to, I want to do a double, and I want to convert test score STR. And I'll do a tab but twice to put that in there. Now the let assigns a constant because we're we'll bringing test score in, but we don't want to change that part. If if we wanted to change it, we could uh, have a, another variable set up and assign it to that variable. Now here I'm going to do, actually let me go ahead and put my else in here. If the above is not true, then uh, my grade string equals invalid input or entry or something now up here i'm going to have if uh, test scores double at this point so i say test score is greater than or equal to 90. i've seen some uh, tutorials uh, that have uh, parentheses around around this and it doesn't care it'll take it but you don't have to have it see like if i put parentheses there and parentheses here if that helps soothe you in terms of having it look out like other program languages, you could do that. But it doesn't doesn't necessarily require it here. Okay, if it's greater than equal to 90, that means I got an A. Um, so I'm going to have my grade string equals to an A. Else, if test score is greater than or equal to 80. Then grade string is going to equal to a B. Else, if test score is greater than or equal to 70, grade string is equal to a C. I think I tried it the other day. I, I think you have to have braces on these. Um, other program languages, if you got one line of code, you don't need the braces. Let me try that just, just for fun. Although we might have different definitions of fun. Grade string is equal to D. If the above is not true, then your grade's going to be an F. It sure looks like it worked. I don't like the formatting there. But, oh, wait a minute. Now I want braces. Okay. About any kind of memory.
Okay, and then down here. I know it may seem petty to want to everything to line up and so forth, but that's important in programming because then you can easily see how things uh, line up and if you're missing braces and so forth. Okay, now let me run this and then I'll explain it. Okay, so put in 70. Determine grade, C. 52 should give me an F. 91 gives me an A. Now, it, let's let's pretend my grade is uh, 81. Uh, comes here, it uh, signs this constant, uh, the value of 81. And comes down here, it plugs uh, the value of test score in here. So it says, hey, is 81 greater than equal 90? It's not. That's false. So it comes down here and checks. and says, hey, is uh, 81 greater than equal to 80? It is. That's true. So then it does this line of code. After it does that line of code, it drops down to the next executable line of code after your FL structure, which there isn't any other executable code. So it's done then. Now, um... This is a way where you can do the nested um, if-else uh, structure. Now, again, there's lots of different variations you could do on this. If I want my button to look a so certain way, you can do a dot. Yeah, yeah. Assuming I put it in the right place. Let's try that again. Here's the closing brace for the button. So I can do a dot and see how we got our padding, font. Um, So if I could did that, um, then I could put in font here. I'm not sure if you type font dot. A font with the headline textile. Whatever that means. I'll unpause that. It did change a little bit. Made it bold. By the way, you can click in here and do 55 and then click determine grade and so forth. You don't have to go to the um, the simulator. Um, I was going to say something inappropriate. <laughs> I was going to say uh, stimulator. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't think that's what that is. Um, but the simulator, uh, you can type it in uh, right here. Uh, but this gives you an example of how to do a nested uh, if-else uh, structure.